With you, Maine women's coach Cindy Blodgett. First off, Cindy, congratulations on being in the, having this new job, and uh, how's it been the transition for you so far? It's been very busy, uh, but the transition has been pretty smooth. Uh, certainly helps knowing the area and knowing the school, and so in a lot of ways, it's been you know a little bit easier than if I had gone somewhere else. Now today's a big day for you because you got some recruits here at the university. You're taking them around uh, as a coach. What are you trying to do as far as showing them the school and and, and selling them on the program? Uh, well, I think uh, as far as selling the program, I think we can really sell the fact that it's a strong tradition and we're trying to get back there. Uh, as far as the school goes, I think school kind of sells itself in addition to all the great people. I think um, just people being around other main people is a pretty big draw. I was uh, covering you when you were playing not only at Lawrence High School but here at the University of Maine. That in some ways is light years ago. It must seem like it was just like yesterday for you. Uh, sometimes, although the players continue to remind me that it's been a while, uh, some of the conversations they they say, uh, you know, you remember, Coach, when you played way back when. So they're kind of uh, comical about it. Now, as far as when you came to play at UMaine, it really was just when uh, Coach Palumbo was in her second year, you made the commitment here, and that's really when the whole program uh, took off. So you know that history, you know that tradition, and it m- must be easy to sell Hey, this is what we had to do before to get there. This is what we got to do now to get there. Yeah, there's sort of a blueprint um, kind of formulated. Uh, Coach Pomo took two years to kind of build a foundation, and and then, you know, it goes back to recruiting, and you've got to get players that are committed to where you want to go, uh, and that's where we're at, and that's why I'm trying to recruit players that have that same vision. I, I thought one of the keys for when you guys were successful when you played was the fact that you had a nice mix of main players and players from out of state. I'm, I'm assuming that's the same thing you're trying to strive for now. Uh, absolutely. We'll have five main players on the roster this year, and uh, my idea is to get the very best main players each year. Uh, with that being said, if if they're not good enough to make an immediate impact, you know, then I have to decide, uh, you know, if that's the best option or not. How is the other experiences you had playing in the WNBA and and, play, and being an assistant coach at other programs? How's that helped you in making the transition to this job? Uh, it allowed me to wear a lot of different hats. Uh, of course, when I was playing here, I played a lot of minutes. Uh, Played in the WNBA, and I was basically a practice player um, and knew my, my role was to get the starters ready. Uh, so I feel like I can really sell that to our players. I've, I've been in their situation, the ones that have played, and then the ones that are also not played on a regular basis. And obviously being in that situation, because when you've played all the time, you don't understand really kind of sometimes the role of a bench player. Now that you had a chance to live through that, it makes it easier to, to sell a player on what their role is going to be. Yeah, you you really learn a whole lot more about yourself, and um, you learn to be unselfish, and the players that are playing every minute of the games don't always uh, understand the sacrifices the bench players are making, so it is good that I had that experience. As far as the conference, and I know the schedule still hasn't come out yet, the overall schedule, the conference, who are going to be the teams? Is it going to be Vermont and Hartford again that are going to be the teams to beat? Yeah, I think so. I think Vermont did such a great job last year, and they're so young, and their uh, nucleus, they're all coming back. So I think they're going to definitely, they're not going to surprise teams this year, uh, but definitely Hartford and Vermont should be the teams. And as far as out-of-conference games, has that been announced on who you're going to be playing? Yes, that is. uh, We're playing, let's see, we'll be going down to the University of Miami tournament over uh, Christmas break. We'll we'll open against Miami. Uh, We'll play Clemson at Clemson, William & Mary, Holy Cross. Um, You know, we have a decent schedule, but uh, a lot of away games. And the key, obviously, with a schedule like that, when you're playing uh, programs like that, it allows you to get better because you're playing better competition. Yeah, it's, you know, we're not trying to just play for the conference. Um, We're using that non-conference to get better so that when we step into conference play, we've seen everything that um, there is to be seen out there. So it should give us an advantage. And no Duke yet on the schedule? Not this year, uh, but but we'll be working on it. It'll happen very soon. Yeah, and I'm sure that's kind of exciting because you know, obviously, you've seen Coach Palumbo be here, and now she went on to Michigan State, got to a Final Four, and now at Duke. That's going to be exciting for you because you can say, hey, look, this is part of the history of Maine. Yeah, it is, and it's also, uh, you know, people don't always remember that Coach Palmer was from Maine, so, you know, she's going to give us a chance to see what big-time basketball is uh, up close, and it would be good for our players to also understand that's what we're chasing. You know, we're trying to get better, and uh, so it would be a good experience for us. As far as the style of basketball you want to play, is it going to be up-tempo, up and down the court all the time? It, I would like it to be, but it's going to be uh, completely predicated on our players, and I'm not sure we have the players at this point to play that type of style. So it's going to be my job to really find the perfect style for us to be successful, and it may or may not be up-tempo. All right, Coach. Well, good luck in the new job. Hopefully you have a great success in, uh, in the NCAAs very quickly. Thank you. Cindy Blodgett joining us here on Fox Sports Bain.